Hi, I'm Jeffrey. So today I'll explain about the design problem for our group need project, which is about the rehability vision transfer device. So the first thing we do is the market survey. So we try our best to find some device in the market. So for example, like race medical power transfer chair, the race medical robot electrical transfer lift chair, race medical robot electrical transfer lift, and some wheelchair. Like this can be standing, and this wheelchair can be stair climber and also some lifter transfer device from the market like this is using the manual hydraulic patient lift this is the example of electrical yeah. so the next we are going to the field visit uh, this will be special because due to the pandemic COVID-19 so we decided to be doing a virtual visit to gather the information from the internet about the rehabilitation patient transfer device in the hospital for the real situation and this diagram is show how the conversion based of doing patient manually so, the patient will move from the bed to the wheelchair, then using the wheelchair to move to other places. And this form is the step to move the patient from the bed to the chair in the hospital with our special device. So first is sit up the patient. The second step is stand up the patient. Then the third step is to move the patient to the chair and sit the patient down. These are the formats that Okay, next is the design problem calculations also did as a provide identification. So for this for our rehabilitation patient travel device, we can be separate into the three main functions. So the first function is look and unload the patient. So the first is lift the whole body up. Then the next is the assisting the living that is manual. So the next function is weight which are using wheel and motor. The third is lock which friction and the motor holding force. So next we will through the problem segment which the first one is to lift the patient. The next is support the weight of the patient. The third is carry and move the patient without discomfort of the patient. The fourth is provide a breaking force to lock the device and so on. Under the patient, bring the comfort and safety to the patient, simple operation and to maintain the low cost. So next I will explain about the problem, the products design specification also called the PS PDS. So this is the state of charge. So also we show with the status of demand problem. The design task with the reasons, status of implicit, explicit, implicit, explicit, or assumption. Also the reference. So the first is the overall frame structure, which is about the weight, is the demand. And because this is this, this, this can be the uh, device is ready to carry out the step or put inside the car. So it's implicit and the reference is using this survey. So the next is the dimension of the structure. So using given that is implicit as well too. So it's demand and the veil is a uh, material requirement which is uh, able to support the weight. It's an assumption we make and is we also need to analyze is it suitable or not. Okay, so the next is the seat is the demand, which uh, maximum is 100 kg, which can support the patient week. And it's expensive and need to survey. So demand also for the dimension, which enough space for the patient to sit. It's an implicit and need to survey. So the next is the material requirement, is a wheel, so need to be soft and then sell stress, absorb stress, which can make the patient comfort comfortable. This assumption and we need to do analysis. So the next is the other system. So we're going to doing survey and the fourth one is the weight system. This is our the picture of the wheel maximum is four tires. So it's a demand. The material should be light and increase the stability of weighing, decrease the overweight, is an implicit for the increase the stability and it's explicit for the overweight and we're doing the analysis for the wheel and the survey for the material of type the tire. The next is the handle of the backseat. So we mean our assumption and we use assumption and doing the analysis too. So it's a well. So the next is the addition additional feature is optional. So it's well, which is the physical workload of the cake given and it's expensive and uh, the reference survey. So next is the power source, which is a factory with the capacity at least one day usage and the output power. So the reason is given here and with the factory is uh, assumption. And we're doing an analysis and survey too. So for the output, it's an implicit and between the survey. So the next function is control and trigger, which the minimize the number of the trigger and able to support long-term usage, light and a low trigger force to move the device. So the first uh, reason is uh, easy to operate and increase the durability of the, the device and patient able to trigger the device. So it's expensive also in for both two reason and uh, implicit for the third reason. And the three of us with doing the uh, find reference from survey. The seven function is the voluntary ability which the waterproof material is used. It's a wheel and wheel also for the empty hole 
quality. So the first photocopy is using the water correction and we use assumption and the reference for analysis. Next also the easy location for the urine and okay. So it's assumption and reference from the analysis too. And the egg function is eating and drinkability. So for this is uh, provide a mean table. So this is also the assumption and the reference is from survey. This is the okay, characteristic of the table. So it's a rough surface, portable and it's a demand for both category. So the nine is the breaking system. And the N1 is the safety feature. It's a breaking system with a strong wooden brick and no friction break. And this are uh, we use doing some survey and analysis too for each of the category characteristic of the breaking system. Then the N is safety feature is adjustable seat height. This uh Adjust the proper height for the patient to see constant health. This is uh, explicit and the reference from analysis. The next demand is to adjust progress. So, to, this is uh, to provide a comfortable for the patient. The back problems is the explicit and lead to the reference from analysis. And the extra safety feature is the FD alarm and the reflector, which uh, provide a, which reduce the risk of the injury. And this is the assumption and correction from that. So, okay. The 11 is the task is the cost, which uh, we set it uh, at between. 2500 and to 5000 something. So it's based on the questionnaire and this assumption and survey. Okay. So the conclusion for the it is the conceptual design should be draft according to the product design specification above this PDS. So the final design should be reviewed using this chapter to make sure that the final design is able to meet all the specifications stated. So by meeting the requirement, we can ensure that our design is able to solve the problem and fulfill the market need because the BTS is based on the background uh, based on our background study. Okay, thank you. Next part is the lift of work and functions. So the core functions are lifting functions uh, to lift uh, the patient from the bed to the seat and the lifting functions uh, to lift off the patient's uh, seat and control control the motion of the device and move and move and the brake system. So the secondary functions are uh, if features, uh, shower features, uh, temperature features, uh, sleeping features and whether the device is detachable. So next is the morphology chart. This is important because we need to uh, list out all the possible mechanism and idea before we start develop the concept. For example, in our loop functions, uh, we can using a handle or using a sliding seat. And in the seat, uh, it generally come into two types. The first type is the permanent fixed uh, seat, and the second type is a hanging seat. So in our control, in our control functions, uh, it might come be come to be a button or control by using a touchscreen. And next, the lifting functions is may achieved by using a hydraulic or pneumatic or lift screw. So in our if our if our motion features, uh, the difference is only the uh, arrangement of the wheel and the size. For example, the first concept here, uh, the the wheel are largest because uh, we want to uh, we want allow the patients able to control the device. So the pricking system here is uh, generally used in the market uh, like a rubber brake. Uh, this mechanism is the same as the uh, bicycle brake mechanism. So next is the eating features. So this can be done by using uh, uh, installing a table, uh, whether it's portable or permanent fixed or insertable. So the defecate features, uh, we make some modification on the seat uh, by opening and hole uh, in the center. Next is the is the shower features. So in shower features, basically we are adding some uh, extra accessory and hardware to achieve these functions. Our sleeping function can be achieved by uh, uh, making the backrest back uh, uh, detachable or, um, or adjustable. So the last is uh, making our device to be affordable. This might be semi-detachable or fully detachable or just uh, uh, vertically uh, for. So we all, so the next step is uh, we can start to develop the concept of the device. So the detail of our concept uh, so can refer uh, from our submitted individual video. After generating the idea, we need to evaluate it. So we need a set of criteria and weightage uh, to evaluate those ideas. And then the data we use here is the device uh, shown in this slide. So after that, uh, everyone of us will, will evaluate other people's ideas and then combine it together to form an average score. So the average score table is uh, shown uh, like this. And then uh, from the from the table, we can we can notice that the concept C has the highest score. So our final idea is based on concept C. The reflection uh, from each of us also have been listed out. So the advantages of our concept C is this is a moderate size. And then it also have the list of work and function uh, required. And then it's also it's also need some improvement. For example, uh, the cup holder and the pad holder group can be added on the surface uh, of the table. And then the shower head also can be added. 
So and then our our mode, our device is using electrical. So we need to make it uh, waterproof. So a flexible shield can be added on the lead screw and the and the motor cover to protect it. And the slot and the slot loader also can be used to replace the belt uh, on the seat because the belt will cause sliding motions uh, and it is not good to the patients. We need a rigid attachment. So we choose a slot loader. So after consider considering the uh, idea from the reflections, this is our final design uh, show in SOLIDWORK. Thank you. My name is Leon Kokwe. Now I will be presenting uh, the function of how to load the patient from the back to the device. So first, uh, we need to take out the backrest and also the seat of the device. And then put the seat on the, onto the bed. Let the patient change from sitting position to sitting position to sit on the, the seat of the device here. So uh, there are drawer rails on the both sides of the arm. So after the patient sit on the cushion here, uh, you just need to push the device toward, toward the bed and then to install the seat. Just make sure the seat goes into the slot of the rail, like this. And then after that, just use, it, use this uh, locking knob to lock the seat. After that, just install the backrest into the backrest slot here. For the seat, we are using rubber rails because it has roller inside that will reduce the frictional force. So it will give, give us a smoother uh, operation. So to install the seat, uh, you just need to slightly push the seat into the, these rubber rails and then to detach it, just need a slight pull to pull the seat out of the rail. So this seat uh, will provide a smoother and also faster uh, method to install and also detach the seat. Good day sir, uh, my name is Ng Wei Hong and I'm going to uh, explain about the working and the function of moving part, the braking part and the lifting part. So which means that I'm focusing on the base part, uh, like the animation uh, show in this video. So firstly, uh, our base case is detachable. The bolt can be uh, removed and the blade can be taken out uh, for checking and maintenance purpose. So I'm going to zoom in to see the component inside the box. So there are two uh, separate motors. And then the specification of the motor is uh, with RPM 1000 and 1 kilowatt power so which means that we're in 1 horsepower so the gear system uh, we use here is the Brevet gear and it is a speed reduction gear set with ratio uh, 10 to 1 so therefore the motor will transmit the motion to the wheel uh, by using two, two pillow block here to hold the shaft in positions and allow the shaft rotate freely so it will be um, it's, the animation will be like this so the next is the uh, braking system so in our device, our braking mechanism is um, the same as the bicycle braking mechanism. So this is belt to the pin point uh, to fix the position. So when the brake pad uh, on the handle is triggered, so it will clamp the wheel wheel plane area and slow and and slowly stop uh, and slowly stop the device from moving. So this is a manual trigger mechanism. And, uh, and the third function is the patient lifting function. So in this function, we're using one electric motor uh, and a set of uh, gear uh, with this ar arrangement. So the overall gear ratio is one to one. Uh, this is because the number of the input T, the number of T in the input gear and the output gear uh, are same. And then there are eight there are uh, 15mm diameter bearing is used to provide the support and help in the power transmission. So it will be like this. So these are the three functions I'm present and that's all from me. Thank you. For the lifting function, we are using linear actuator. So this linear actuator has a least screw powered by electric power so 
the lifting will be like this. The patient can increase or decrease the height of the device. And then these two are the waterproof shield to uh, provide to prevent the water from going inside the lead extractor when the patient goes to the toilet. For the safety feature, you have a spotlight here to provide the lighting in front of the device. And also we have an alarm here. So to alert the caregiver when the patient gives the warning signal. So uh, this spotlight and the alarm here will be controlled by the controller here. So just press it, this button for the LED light and this one for the alarm to give the signal to the caregiver. And then on the back here, we also have a light reflector. So when the patient is on outside, so this light reflector will reflect the light during the night time. Now I will explain the table part of the transfer device. So the shape of the table is designed in a way that it can assist the holding of the plates and cups on the table. This is designed in such a way so that the plates and the cup do not slip while the patient is using the table. So whenever the table is not to be used, it can be slid down to free up the space of the transfer device. And next, we are going to the controller holder. The controller holder is designed in the shape that the controller can be used without the need of taking the controller out from the holder. The hole at the bottom of the holder is used for charging of the controller and the hole at the front of the controller is used to view the charging status of the controller as well as to press the button of the controller. My name is Imaduddin Khalil and this is a video on how to defecate and shower using this uh, patient transfer device. So this device, um, in order to shower, um, the patient can just sit on this device and then put the shower head onto this shower head holder. So and then he can shower like usual. And then at the side we have a uh, shampoo holder where a patient can put their uh, shampoo or uh, anything related uh, to showering here and also if they want to defecate um, as you can see from here this part of the device it has a toilet seat underneath it it has a toilet seat so if they want to defecate they just remove this uh, toilet they just remove this uh, seat cushion and then they can defecate and so uh, that is how uh, a patient can use uh, this device to defecate and to shower thank you i'm jeffrey i want to explain about the sleep functions of the rehabilitation patient transfer device so now to control the vacuity patient just need to control using the handle beside the backrest seat so to lift up then the seat will be falling down then the simulation is shown as the video Assalamualaikum so for this part of the video it is to explain uh, bill of materials so for our group's uh, bill of materials we have divided uh, the table into parts id number assembly sub assembly overall size materials and quantity so for each part we uh, identify each part with its own id number it is to make sure that uh, it's easier to identify the parts uh, because we have the id number so for example we have rp001 until rp007 it is parts under the frame assembly so we know from this id number that uh, amba amba support and uh, amba support 2 seat support frame main support middle frame pushing handle is under the frame assembly next is the overall size the overall size is the dimension of the parts and then materials most of the materials that we chose are stainless steel it is because we want to make it we want to make sure that our device is resistant to corrosion uh, we want to make sure that the patient can use our device for uh, daily activity such as uh, showering so if you want to make sure that 
the device lasts long, we have to uh, select materials with a high resistance to corrosion and that is why we chose uh, stainless steel and then next is the quantity the quantity shows how many of your parts is in the device okay for the next part is functionality assessment so for this part we assess each of the parts whether it is essential or non-essential so after after the assessment we found out that uh, we have 89 essential parts and 57 non-essential parts and then uh, we calculate the design efficiency we found out that we have a uh, uh, more than 60% design efficiency so this is because majority of the parts are essential in terms of its functionality as a patient rehabilitation device most of the parts fulfill the requirements of, of either movement isolation adjustment of replacement or both however some screws are considered not essential but it is needed for easier detachment of the accessories such as a shower holder when in not use when not in use that is for my part my name is Leon Kok so we also did Lucas costing on our device. So uh, we include the material cost and also processing cost in our analysis and we assign certain coefficients to every part of our device. So our reflection is that generally all the costing here are reasonable. The more expensive one is the gearbox, gearbox casing because uh, it is the largest part of our device which is the base and then it should be very rigid and strong to carry the heavy motor and also gear. So the costing for the material is also higher. The cheaper parts are the controller holder and also the shampoo holder because uh, they only need to carry lighter objects such as controller and also the shampoo. So uh, the material such as polypropylene as plastic with injection molding process can be done in large batch to reduce the costing. We also did the failure modes and effect analysis table where we evaluate certain failure modes such as uh, jam wheels, bending and also buckling and then we find the possible uh, cause of failures and also the effect of the failure. And then we suggest some corrective action and then we take action on engineering analysis to verify the failure. We did finite element analysis using solid simulation for the engineering analysis. So for the main frame, we apply a patient weight of 100 kg and then the result shows that the, the frame is safe from the yielding failure. And then for the sleeping function, we apply the load uh, at the backrest and also we found that the frame is still safe from the failure. For the toilet seat, uh, we apply the weight of the patient at the center of the toilet seat and then we found out that the maximum stress is still less than the tensile strength of the material. And then for the dining table support, we assume a foot and barrage of weight of 10 kg and then we found that the support is still safe. For the controller holder, with the weight of controller, the controller holder is still safe from using failure. For the lever handle on the backrest, so we did the U analysis auto shirt analysis and it shows that the result is safe from the failure. For the important part, which is the gearbox casing, we did uh, the actual load on both of the lead screw here and then we found the bending stress here and then as a result the U strength is still higher than the maximum stress value so it's safe from failure. Same things go to the gearbox casing, uh, the result is safe. For the wheel shaft, we assume a motor power of 1 kW and also RPM of 1000. So with the loading of top, it shows that the shaft is still safe from yielding. And then for the fatigue analysis, uh, the result shows that the autonoming stresses everywhere in the shaft are below the minimum SN curve value. So the result is there is no damage. So this indicates that the shaft has infinite service life. After all the manufacturing analysis and also the failure analysis, we did embodiment improvement to our device. So for the view shaft, we add the fillet ridges here to reduce the stress condensation factor and also the abrupt change of shaft diameter. For the toilet seat, uh, we include the instruction of the insulation here to help the customer to differentiate the upper part and also the below part and the insulation direction. For the battery box, uh, we change the lid of the box to be like this so that it is easier to change the battery for charging. For the shampoo holder, uh, we put some growth on the base here to let the water to flow up so that the water will not be uh, contained inside the holder for a long time. And also, this design has a lighter weight. For the rear view frame, we add some fillet here for safety purposes and also to reduce the stress concentration.